Section 3, Extending Apex. There are a number of ways to extend functionality within Apex. You just need to know how and where to install the necessary code. Plugins are one you may have heard of, and this section will cover this and other ways to add features to your application, such as adding some JavaScript, we'll look at adding vis some visual effects to our application, loading and delimited data, such as CSV files, inserting some multimedia and consuming some of these Apex plugins. But first we'll look at adding some JavaScript to our application. Many programmers don't start with an empty canvas. Uh, they may have a library of tools to include to gain instant leverage and functionality. For instance, you can provide a highly visual green and red colouring for field validation using alivevalidation.com. So first we need to include our library in our page template. So I'll actually go to the Manage Products page and we'll edit the page properties. So we'll just add the JavaScript library required just on this page. So I've saved the JavaScript library to my images folder, referring to it using the image prefix substitution string. I'll apply those changes and now we can include a call to this library to provide feedback for the user. And in fact, we can do this by going back to the page properties. So when the page loads, we can execute two calls, one to the live validation package to instantiate list price as being one of the items that we want to validate. And we're going to add the list price as being something that needs to be a numeric. So I'll apply those changes and finally we can run this page and enter a alphanumeric character in the list price and it gives us the instant validation here of must be a number as opposed to entering a number and we get this green thank you message. This library includes a number of configuration options so you can change these messages and colors. But what we've done is added an external library and added instant user friendliness to the web pages that we build. Next we'll see what sort of visual effects we can include.